companies sent like two packages for my one order. I don't know why, it must have been different places, but... So, I really wanted to film this video because if you saw my closet cleanup video, I literally got rid of 200 items. I sold like 150 on Depop. That was awesome. You guys, we sold so much. Thank you to everyone who bought something. I put a little note in yours and everyone's. So that was really cute. But anyway, yeah, so if you saw that video, I got rid of so much stuff. And now my closet I needs more clothes. I'm just kidding. I probably don't need more clothes. Also, I don't want anyone to take this video the wrong way. You have to think this is also kind of part of my job. Like, I have to influence people I have to kind of I don't have to but I prefer to have good sense and style so I really want to keep it updated and keep it fun and fresh and I thought this would also be a really good idea for you guys to learn some new websites that I get my clothes from um some great ones that I really like and also at the end I'm going to do a little try on portion where I try them on together stuff like that try to style some pieces together so you can also get some inspo from that I also got inspiration from Hannah Malo she did a video like it I forgot what hers was called, but she ordered a bunch of clothes and then did a try on haul and I was like, oh my god, good idea, I should do that. So yeah, um, Hannah Malo, if you're watching this, we can be friends maybe, maybe. So I also try shopping from clothes I don't normally shop at or the ones that I haven't shopped at in a while. So like Garage, I literally haven't shopped there in forever and I was very surprised because they had a lot of cute clothes I didn't remember that they had. I also never go on free people, like ever. It's so expensive, but also I feel like their clothes are sustainable. I'm not sure, but I think they are. So I had to take my shot, okay? I also had to get some cute swimsuits because you know it's summertime and we need some new bathing suits up in here. Plus I shopped at so many other stores for two weeks. This has all been sitting in my room and I'm so anxious to open it up. Like I'm pretty sure I have everything. There might be a couple packages that I forgot. I don't think so though. It's really hard to track all this. Oh my god. I'm talking so fast. I'm pretty sure these two go with each other. I mean, they're the same packaging, so like, you would assume so. I'm gonna try to make this unboxing part pretty fast. This is so cute. This is a lime stretchy top with like strings in the back. Oh my god, so cute. You can dress this up or dress it down. That's my favorite. Ooh! I got this shirt. It's ruches in the front, and I love this because I feel like this is a really new trend, and I just, oh, I dig this. Guys, I have had really bad luck with biker shorts and I really hope these fit good. They just like, either they don't fit well, they fit weird in your crotch, they're too stretchy, they're too stiff, like it's so hard to find good ones. These feel really good, so. Okay, let's do a box now. Ooh, Urban. Um, Urban sent me legit like five different boxes for my one order. Like, please, get a little more confusing. My love for sweatsuits is unreal. They only gave me the pants. These ones? are so cute and comfy this is honestly just a staple you can also like make gray sweatsuits look super trendy wear like gold hoops your hair back you know like a baddie these are like so in right now like i feel like i don't even need to talk about it like everyone is wearing them so i got one <laughs> i actually have a lot of bandanas but i just feel like this one i'll wear a lot because it's a brown and browns go with a lot of outfits let's try to find all the urban packages oh urban there we go Jeans from Urban are just the best. They fit the best, they look the best, period. It is summer, why am I buying jeans? It's because I live in Minnesota, and Minnesota right now, like this next two weeks is supposed to be in the 50s, super fun, not fun, not fun at all. Not only is like this a cute top, but this with a white tank top is so cute. Next, I wanna talk about something that I've been wearing for so long and I'm super excited to talk about. Thank you to Pure Beauty for sponsoring my video. I'm super excited to be talking with them because not only are they so cute, but I've been wearing Pure Beauty for literally like three years now. So I know it's really hard to find like clothing items or jewelry that's sustainable, eco-friendly, and that's actually like good for this world, but Pure Vita is amazing for that. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, let me give you a closer look of what they look like. These are awesome because they're wax coated, so they're waterproof and they don't fade in the sun and you can adjust them yourself. I also feel like these braces are coming back because of Outer Banks. Like they always wear like a bunch of braces on their hand and it's super cute and vibey and beachy and everything. The pack I got reminds me of the beach. It's perfect for summer. It has waves and seashells, which is super cute. And on this hand, I have a retro braided one and a like burnt orange one. Pure Vita bracelets are also super affordable. They start at $6, and not only that, they have tons and tons of choices, you guys. Like, when I go through the website, I'm, like, in awe. They have every color, every shape, every, like, design you could ever have. I want to show you guys my Pure Vita collection because I have so many. So, this is my jewelry, and this is my Pure Vita collection. I literally have, like, about 15 up here. They just give your outfits such a fun twist. 
And now I have a couple more. So yeah, if you're looking for some adorable, eco-friendly bracelets, definitely check out Pure Vida. I have a code for you for 25% off your first order. Or you can click the link below for my code. All right, back to unboxing. Um, I think this is Free People. These are from Free People. I literally love them. I try so hard to find good, like, jean shorts that I can wear, like, with almost any outfit. And I feel like these ones will be perfect. They're Levi. I feel like Levi pants always fit me good. I don't know. Dude, this color is everything. I don't know why, but when I saw this on the website, I was like, I need that. Like, the color... This is probably my favorite color. It's like a dusty pink. It's like a mauve kind of vibe. Oh my god, I just love it. What? This was urban also, I guess. It just came in like a separate box in a bag. <laughs> I was like, what is this? They're little socks. ASOS. Oh, I ordered jewelry. I've wanted like a rectangle pendant for so long. Ew, why is it so long? I don't know if I like that. Oh shoot, this is another urban package. Yeah! It's the top to my sweats. Perfect. Triangle. I literally love how triangle comes in like little pouches. They come in finny packs, they come in little backpacks sometimes. This one's just like a little pouch, but it's so cute. The bottoms look like this. It's like orange fading up to pink, and then orange fading down to pink. Oh yes, this is going to be so comfy. This is just neon green and it has some texturizing. The bottoms just look like this. This one piece, it has the ruches on the side, which I love. And I don't know, it might be a little uncomfortable because it's sparkly, so it's kind of like... But it's okay, we'll get past it. Another thing is, a lot of people think triangle is like really expensive, but nowadays swimsuits are oddly like so expensive for no reason i'm like no this top is not fifty dollars it does not need to be fifty dollars for a top that barely covers my nipples like that is unreal so yeah i just honestly don't think triangles that expensive compared to like every other swimsuit brand if you know what i mean do you get what i'm saying this one's gonna be surprised i do not know what is in here oh what oh my god Oh my god, you roll this on your tummy when you have your period. You're kidding! It's called Cloud9. I'm gonna try this out and then tell you guys if I like it. I don't even know how to open. <gasps> wow, that was really intense. You have no idea how happy I am right now. Let me just give you a little background story of this. It's just a brand called Pangea. I am obsessed with their sweatsuits. Like, Oh my god, but everything's like sold out all the time. So I DM them. I was like, yo, you should totally like send me some stuff because I'm so down. I love your items so much. Like, and they responded. They said, yeah, totally. And then they just like never sent me anything. So I was like, oh, I guess it is like never gonna send anything. They sent me stuff like a lot. And the weird thing was like, I literally shopped on their website for this video, but like everything was sold out. So I couldn't get anything. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, are these shorts? What? No way. I'm gonna try this on for you guys to see if they're cute. Oh my god. And then the matching. You guys! If you're watching this, Pangea, thank you. Am I saying it right? Pangea. 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 It has to be Pangea. Oh yeah! Are you ready to see them? Oh. Are you ready to see them now? These are so dope. It's like zebra and cheetah print with red laces. Oh my god, this is so... I always have a hard time buying shoes that are like out of the box because they never go with anything. But these, on the other hand, will go with a lot because they're black, they're white, and they're brown. So like, you can kind of wear them with anything. Like they pretty much go with a lot of things. Last but not least, this is another swimsuit company brand thing. This is from Summerfield Swim. I've never bought anything from here, but I saw their things in like my Instagram ad maybe. And I was like, wow, that's cute. I only bought one because they were like really expensive. It was way more, not way more, but it was more expensive than Triangle. There's a little slit in there for a little under boob or side boob action. They have two straps. These are honestly kind of stick scandalous, so if you're like wearing it for your family, like probably don't. That was it for this section. Now I'm gonna try to make some outfits out of these claws. Here's the first fit. You guys, I love this. 
I just feel like such a little girly girl in this. It's one of my favorite outfits for sure. The pants are from Free People. They actually were um, a little too big for me. Let me just take this off. Like without the belt and everything, like it's like pretty big for me. But when you put a belt on, I really like the look of it because it kind of scrunches it together. So I just paired it with my Gucci belt. Obviously some things in this try on portion aren't going to be new things I bought because I can't really make multiple outfits with all new items. And this pink silk like florally little t-shirt crop top thing is from Urban. The short sleeve underneath it is also not new. It's from Princess Polly. I just think it's really cute when it's layered. Like it gives it such a good vibe. Oh my god, who is she? I seriously am obsessed with like the bandana thing. It gives you such like a sweet, innocent, cowgirl, cute girl vibe. I don't know. Again, I'm wearing the same pants. These are from Free People. Super cute. And I also did the belt trick where you kind of cinch in your stomach so it looks a lot more flattering, I don't know. But this belt, where is this belt from? I think it's from Urban. It's just a kind of like a cowgirl vibe. It's brown, super cute. This is the garage tank top. It has the cute little strings in the back. I seriously am obsessed with this. It's so comfy and cute. And then my bandana, the cutest thing ever. This is from Urban. I also get so many people asking me how I put this in my hair. So I'm gonna show you. I first separate my bangs, like what I want to be pulled out from the bandana. So then I take my excess hair and put it into a bun in the back. Then I take my bandana, put it over, tie it in the back. I know it can be kind of hard to tie it because your hair is really caught in it, but this way is the easiest way I found by far. Take your bun out, kind of give it a little oomph, and you have the cutest little hairstyle ever. I used to have such a hard time putting this in, but I finally found a way so you're welcome for that like big tip because no one told me how to pull one in i literally had to figure it out and i was like why is my hair getting caught why do i look like a rat but yeah so this is such a comfy fit you guys this is a sweatsuit i was talking about um they are both from urban this and this it is the las france brand i'm not sure how to say it um, but like I said, it looks really cool when you like wear a sweatsuit with like gold accessories and like chunky shoes. I think it looks so freaking hot and cool. <laughs> I'm wearing my new shoes! They're so cool. They're cheetah and zebra and they're like chunky and just, I don't know. I am also wearing my ASOS rectangle necklace. It's kind of long, but yeah. Oh, look at her! So. I just want to show you guys before what my t-shirt looks like without a long sleeve underneath, but I would probably pair it with a long sleeve, like this. I personally just think this looks ten times better. I don't know, it just gives it more character, more effort into your outfit. What I'm not obsessed is though with my pants. Guys, I thought these were going to be so cute. Um, I still have the tags on them because I'm not sure what I want to do with them. So, apparently it's like the new trend to have your low-rise jeans and not have them high-waisted. But for me, I like myself some high-waisted pants so I can like not be self-conscious of my little... I don't know. They're kind of like really stiff too. They kind of remind me of jeans that like my aunt would wear. Maybe I should keep them just for like every once in a while if I want to be like modest but wear jeans. But anyway. These jeans are from Urban. I also cuffed them at the bottom to make them a little more cute. This shirt is from Free People, which I'm obsessed with. It's super, like, comfy and the best color. And the shirt that everyone asked for, I don't know how, because I feel like everyone knows about it. It's Brandy Melville. Yeah, I got this from Brandy Melville. It's actually cropped, but can't really tell when it's underneath. I actually do like this outfit. I'm just not feeling confident in my jeans. We could rock it if we want. All right, next outfit. Ooh, look at her. I would definitely pair this outfit with some necklaces, some layered necklaces, but I can't put them on by myself. Like, I need someone to help me, and I don't feel like asking my mom to come up here just to put it on for, like, four seconds. You get the vibe. Okay. But these are the long black shorts that I was talking about that kind of make me uncomfortable, but I'm trying to rock them. <laughs> Yeah, these are from Pepper Mayo, kind of cute. They are Levi's though. Then I paired it with this kind of layered gold belt kind of dealio. This is from Urban. I got this kind of a while ago actually. And the cutest ruche kind of nude silk top. This is from Garage. All right, this is another great fit. Oh, this is so comfy. This isn't really an outfit where I tried super hard because all I did was put on a matching set. Again, I would pair it with some gold necklaces, but I don't feel like 
putting them on <laughs> sorry but yeah I really 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 didn't know how I would feel about these shorts because they're kind of like they're sweatpants cut in shorts and I really did not know how I was gonna feel about them but I am obsessed you guys like these would be so comfy to sleep in the thing that I really like is the little details like this do you see that Pangea? It says Pangea right there. I don't know why, but I really like little details like that. Like, that's everything for me. Like, that is just so dope. Yay! We like her. Here's the last fit. <laughs> you guys, this shirt, I'm so mad. I didn't get it in this haul, but I recently got it. I actually got it gifted to me, and I put it in the wash, and I don't know what to do with it because if I cut it off, I don't want to make it a crop top, but I feel like that's my only option now. So this is going to be like my last outfit that I'm showing and it's probably like the worst outfit because I look like a hobo. But I want to show you how these biker shorts fit because I know biker shorts are super hard to find, like good ones at least. Um, I actually really like these that like you can probably work out in them because they're kind of like, um, like athletic wear, but they're also like cotton. So yeah, Garage has good biker shorts if you're looking for a place to get some. I actually really like them. Not sure how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to end it right here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out Pure Vita bracelets. They're so cool. They go with any outfit. Make sure to use my code. Link in description. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys like these types of videos. I know they're like really popular right now. A lot of people are like buying a bunch of clothes or cleaning out their closet. I love you all and thank you for always supporting me with what I do. Um, it's truly a blessing to work in this industry and have trying on a bunch of new clothes be my job, honestly. Like, thank you guys so much. I just really love giving you guys inspiration for clothing and life in general. I think we're all just going crazy right now because of quarantine. I cannot wait to get outside of my house and actually go on um, a beach for once and like, I don't know, just get into summer mode. I really hope this all gets over really soon because I'm getting really sick of it. Probably like everyone. Um, yeah. See you guys next week. Before I go, I just cropped this shirt, you guys. It's kind of cute. I kind of like how it like, it's a little rough right there. Okay, never mind. I guess the shirt is revamped. We love. Holy crap, this is a disaster.